Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Classic video. Now, there is one very special animal that is going to be towards the end of this video. However, I wanted to include some clips of me taking some of my personal bests and a couple of just good animals that I've been able to harvest over the past few days, as there only has been one really special harvest that has gone to the lodge, but the rest of these have been pretty cool. So this is my personal best reindeer, which has come to my new bear barrel and Lynx setup on Hemeldal. I've found this spot is absolutely incredible. I can get roe deer, so many brown bear at the barrel, I can get Lynx and I normally get one or two herds of reindeer coming through too and this guy happened to come through. Now had he not got a broken paddle on the front there I think he really would have been possibly a lodge worthy animal so it was a bit of a shame to see that but these just look so impressive with these big antlers and it's kind of made me want to get a big reindeer even more. So that's definitely something I'm going to be working on and possibly something you'll see in future videos. Now something else I've been working on since I started playing Classic is trying to get a Mounter Ibex. The first few Ibex I shot was on a friend's map and they all ended up being pretty good size but nothing Mounter. And then I tried doing the same route like hunt plan on my map and I normally only get small ones. So to see one with an actual decent set of horns on him was quite nice. And there was more Ibex around so that's why you can see me scanning the cliffs just checking that there's nothing else about because something I always say is just check your surroundings because you never know where one's going to pop out. So like I said these are just going to be some clips of some personal bests, well the reindeer was a personal best, the others are just good highlights and then towards the end when the really really special thing comes up I will start talking again so I'll meet you there.
So this is what this video is all about. I was here at my turkey stand and I called for coyotes as I noticed some coyote footprints under my stand and this was the first coyote to come in. A melanistic male coyote and he just did not want to stand still. I wanted to try and take him with a crossbow as I find dropping them with a crossbow tends to be easier for me than dropping them with a bow. However, I didn't make a perfect shot on this guy. I kind of misjudged it but he did still go down and I still have him and he is now in my lodge and I am so so thrilled with that but because I knew it was a bit of a poor shot I left him to uh, to expire so I just sat and called in the turkeys that, fl that flew away and a couple of other animals and then I went to go and pick him up so I will leave you now to go and to see that bit but oh I am just so thrilled to have a rare coyote it was something I was planning on working on because I, I wanted to get some more diversity in the lodge I've been focusing a lot on deer getting non tips and rares for those and so I really wanted to focus on some smaller game and some bigger game so things like pheasants ducks turkeys I wanted some more variation and or mounters and then stuff like coyotes bobcat lynx and then real big stuff like water buffalo, reindeer, that kind of thing. So when this guy came in, before I'd even really started working on it, it was just, it was just awesome. And I've been trying to get a couple of clips together over the past couple of days to make this a decent length video. So I'm just so pleased that I can now share this with you. It was so cool. As you can see, the turkeys did come in quite quickly and I did pile up quite a few before I decided to go and pick up this coyote. Like I said, I wanted him to go and expire, I didn't want to keep chasing it or, you know, pushing it on, so I thought I'll just leave it because I think it was a body hit, so let's just leave him, I'll pick these animals up, then we'll go find him and take a trophy shot. And that is where I will leave you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I really hope that you enjoy seeing this absolutely awesome looking melanistic coyote. I'm so thrilled with it. Honestly, I can't, I can't just, I'm so lucky to have one come in when I wasn't even really going for it. Yeah, it was a body shot, which is what I thought. And I think I confirmed, like, just by looking at the blood after I shot him. But... Yeah, I'm just so thrilled with it and I can't be more happy to have one in the lodge. He looks really, really cool in the lodge. I've got him in the same lodge as all of my rare does, uh, my non-tip uh, non -tip blacktail, I think, and no, it's actually three non-tip mule deer and then the piebald whitetail, piebald roe deer. So he looks quite good in that lodge with those. And I need to add some more stuff to that lodge, which I'm hoping to get like a, either a rare or a big reindeer, maybe a rare or a big water buffalo again, but that will take some more work, I think, because my water buffalo luck doesn't tend to be great. So we'll see how that lodge ends up looking, but at the moment I'm really thrilled with it. But anyway, like I said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed.